Okay, I got some really good news. The president is on it. $3.7 million transferred to the Wuhan laboratory by the National Institute of Health during the Obama administration under Fauci is now under investigation. The president just announced it. Take a look. Thank you, Mr. President. U.S. intelligence is saying this week that the coronavirus likely came from a level four lab in Wuhan. There's also another report that the NIH under the Obama administration in 2015 gave that lab $3.7 million in a grant. Why would the U.S. give a grant like that to China? Uh, the Obama administration gave them a grant of $3.7 million. I've been hearing about that. Uh, and we've instructed that if any grants are going to that uh, area, we're looking at it literally about an hour ago and also early in the morning uh we will end that grant very quickly but it was granted quite a while ago they were granted a substantial amount of money uh we're going to look at it and take a look but i understand it was a number of years ago right so you are when did you hear when did you hear was the grant was made 2015 2015 who was president then i wonder so this is huge huge news now if you don't know what i'm talking about we have a video on the channel right now that is going mega viral okay it's my interview with dr buttar and he talks about the 3.7 million dollars what that money did and how fauci got around the department of homeland security order to stop doing testing on coronaviruses in the united states Listen to this. What I think you're talking about is uh, the moratorium that was placed and then $3.7 million from the Nas National Institute of Health was transferred to China so they could continue this research, even though the moratorium. So they basically outsourced this this research to China. Is this the same topic we're talking about here? This news this is just breaking. Yes, this is exactly right. So it goes back to 2014. The U.S. government decided based upon certain virologists at that time saying that, look, there's no justification for this kind of research. There's a potential to, for it to cause harm, cause a pandemic. So there's no justification for us to do this type of research. So the government passed a moratorium in 2014. Fauci approved budget uh, 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 approved budgets to be monies to be uh, section for this type of research so basically and i'm getting really every time i think about this it gets me really flustered because i'm so angry that he basically broke the law he, he more than broke the law he created this entire casket that we're seeing with the world shutdown was created by this initial aspect back in 2015. he broke the law he went against government moratoriums he's took taxpayer money and he funded research that has now led to the COVID-19. In 2017, he was documented at Georgetown University saying that there will be a pandemic that this presidency will face, that this term will face. How did he know that in 2017 that something was going to happen in 2018, 19, or 2020? There's no, you can't predict the market from three days from today, what's going to happen. How did he know that there was going to be a pandemic? He stated, the president of this, this president will face a pandemic. The exact quotes, I, I don't want to say the exact words. You guys have the video footage. My point is that there is no question that there will be a challenge to the coming administration in the arena of infectious diseases, both chronic infectious diseases in the sense of already ongoing disease. And we have certainly a large burden of that. But also there will be a surprise outbreak. There will be a surprise outbreak. And there will be a surprise outbreak. When somebody starts making these type of statements and then they were involved with the breaking of the law to fund the research that American taxpayers paid for, that then goes to Wuhan and now trying to create this diversion and say that it was China. That was just a clip of the larger 45 minute interview. I will link to it down below. You need to see the full interview for the full perspective. But the good news is, is that Congressman Matt Gates is also onto this. Okay, he went on Tucker Carlson and just took China to task and talked about the money that you are paying with your taxpayer dollars to fund the Chinese labs that are creating these pandemics. Listen to this. So at best, Americans are funding people who are lying to us, and at worst, we're funding people who we knew had problems handling pathogens who then birthed a monster virus onto the world. Follow the money. 
and it leads right back to Fauci and then right back to the National Institute of Health underneath the Barack Obama administration, friends. Okay? There you have it. How do we get here? Maybe we should ask Barack Obama. Maybe we should put Fauci on trial and ask him what's going on. How did that money go through? You know, he actually he actually addressed the question about if the virus was man-made. And I'm going to show you the clip here. It, he was, you know, the guy's never lost for worse, but he knows he's under the microscope right now because the president's about to investigate that money and where it went, how it got there. And now he's sweating bullets. Watch this clip. Ask uh, Dr. Fauci, could you address these suggestions or concerns uh, that this virus was somehow man-made after we came out of a laboratory in China? You studied this virus. What are the prospects of that? There was a study uh, recently that we could make available to you where a, a group of highly qualified evolutionary virologists looked at the sequences there and the sequences in uh, bats as they evolve. And the mutations that it took to get to the point where it is now is totally consistent with a jump of a species from an animal to a human. So, I mean, the, the paper will be available. I, I don't have the authors right now, but we can make that available to So he's still maintaining that this thing was just jumping species, or whatever he says. Um, but we know that there were studies on coronavirus that were done in the United States. If there's anybody that knows, it's Fauci. He knows exactly what that thing is. Okay because they were studying it here in the United States, and then they shipped it off to China when the DHS said stop. So I'm going to show you another clip here of Dr. Batar again, and this time he takes it to the next level. And I think he's, he's saying what a lot of people are thinking right now. Listen. Is, is Fauci directly responsible for this pandemic because he maneuvered the money, he, he maneuvered around the moratorium, kept this chimeric research going in China. Is he, is he directly responsible for not just the pandemic, but also the response that's killed the economy and put, what, 17 to 22 million people out of work? Is, is Fauci directly responsible? I'm going to say this. I think that there, I've seen some petitions going around. I know Dr. Shiva said that Fauci should be should be fired. I think that's the nicest thing that could be done to Fauci. I think he should. He's a, he has show, he's a criminal. He's broken the law. He's going against the government. I mean, that, that, to me, that seems like it's a traitorous thing to do when you when you the government has passed a regulation and he's at one of the highest levels in the NIH. He's, he's got a directorship at the NIH, and then he breaks. The law, he breaks the moratorium and then funds research against something that could potentially cause harm throughout the entire world. And he's in collusion with, with the foreign government. To so now you have Fauci colluding with the foreign government during the Obama administration, funding coronavirus studies at a Wuhan lab with your money. Now, thankfully, this is now I'm going to throw it back to the president here. Just earlier, just a couple hours ago. He said he's going to be taking a look at the money. And they got a lot of money in the National Institute of Health budget. A lot. He, he details how much money. And then he goes back and says, we're going to take a look at the $3.7 million that Fauci approved to send to China. Listen to this. And uh, NIH is giving away a lot of money. A lot of money. We give away for years, for many years. They give away a lot of money. And uh, some people complain and some people don't. Some people are extremely happy. So we're looking into that also. They're giving away approximately, as I understand it recently, more than $32 billion a year. $32 billion. And uh, so we've been looking at that for a while and we're going to be having some statements to be made about that. $32 billion a year. It's a lot of money, and uh, we want to make sure it's being spent wisely, and we've been doing that, by the way, and uh, we'll have some statements on that. And those are much bigger numbers than what we're talking about with national. If you, if you look if with, the, uh, with our 
friends from wherever they come from. You know, 500, 500 million is a lot of money, but it's not a lot compared to the kind of money that we give out. I think uh, over the years, it's been averaging about $32 billion. $32 billion. So uh, we've had our eye on that one for a while. We also uh, talked about the lab in China where I guess 3.7 million was given some time ago. And we're looking at that very closely. Chief of Staff has that pretty much under control. Uh, but it's money that too bad it got spent there. But that was spent, uh, what year was that, Mark? It was four or five years ago. Over the last six years. Six years ago, approximately. So we're looking at that. So I told you it's good news. This is a really good development. We're getting closer to accountability here. And that's where we want to be. Okay? Your taxpayer dollars being shipped off to China, creating these, creating the pandemic itself, it's, it is unacceptable and it is criminal, absolutely criminal. So do your part right now, share this video to the four corners of the internet, let everybody know the president is on the case and hit the link down in the description. You can watch the full interview with Dr. Buttar. It is now going mega viral. It's got like 1.7 million views already. Absolutely wild. So we're making an impact. You're making an impact. When you share these videos, when you send them out an email, when you send them out across a text message thread, you are having a massive impact. So continue to impact the global narrative, my friends. The power's in your hands. Use it. Share this now. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report. And to get more videos like this. Well, there you have it. Under the Obama Democratic Administration, something that the Democrats never, ever want to admit is that their piece of crap president was against this United States.